So in this section, we're going to focus on implementing axially loaded bar elements. So these are elements that resist axial load only. And specifically, we're going to refer to these as bar elements as opposed to beam elements, which can resist bending as well. So we typically encounter these kind of elements within structures as bracing elements. And the portal frame structure that we've been working on up until now is a classic example of the kind of frame structure that incorporates this kind of bracing. Now, if you've come through the suggested prerequisite courses, we're going to be using some of what we learned in our 2D frame analysis. And in fact, we've, we've actually built this full functionality for 2D frames already. So we're just expanding into 3D here. Um, now, we're also going to be using some of what we did in our 3D space frame analysis course because obviously the actually loaded elements that we're going to be modeling now are going to be modeled in 3d obviously so what we did in our 3D space frame course is going to prove valuable to us as well. So in the next lecture, we're going to head back over to Blender and we're actually going to model some bracing elements onto our, onto our actual model. Uh, then we'll write a quick script that allows us to export those member definitions, those members that are marked as bracing elements. We'll export those to a CSV file. Uh, after importing these into our notebook, we're going to process that information and build a record of all of the rotational releases that need to be built into our structural model. Uh, and then we'll build out the bar element stiffness matrix and this is going to again reference back to some of what we did when we were analyzing 3d space frames because it's going to be the same element stiffness matrix that we used when we were analyzing those space frames finally uh, we're going to solve for all of the axial forces in our structure and uh, at that point we'll have finished implementing this feature so once we're there and once we've got this feature implemented at the end of the section we'll have a solver that can handle um, some of those common forms of, uh, of structural frame braced structural frame so uh, yeah let's just get stuck into it <laughs>